Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain session 9 maintain workplace safety. And this session is actually about workplace safety rules, those each employee of the organization has to follow. And by following basic safety rules, those are set by organization. Employees of that organization can keep themselves safe during any kind of mishappening or accident. So this session is going to explain basic safety rules those employees have to follow. And these basic safety rules are fire safety rules, false and slip safety rules, electrical safety rules and how to use first aid in case of any accident or injury. First of all, every organization has to frame a set of standards basic safety rules and these basic safety rules should be clearly explained to all employees who are working in that organization and just for the explanation verbal method can be used as well as proper demonstration can be given to all employees who are there in the organization so they will be well aware about the situation as well as how to react in any kind of accident or mishappening so here in this session first of all we will see basic fire safety rules that all employees have to follow as well as organization also during any kind of fire accident. So first one here is fire escape plans must be installed at proper levels. So fire escape plan means during any kind of fire accident people or employees who are working in that organization have to leave that organization immediately or they'll have to leave that building immediately. So for this proper escape plan should be mentioned or at each floor or proper directions must be mentioned at each floor so during any kind of fire accident employees will be able to escape building immediately and there will be less loss due to the fire accident so this is the first one because during fire accident employees cannot use lift they have to use stairs only so proper directions should be mentioned to reach those stairs and they can leave the building immediately so in this only just to control the effect of the fire, fire extinguishers and other devices or equipments are used. So those equipment should also be installed at each floor. So in case of fire, its effect can be reduced by using fire safety equipments. So this is the first point here. Now next one is conduct regular drills. So in the organization, this is the responsibility of the manager or employer to conduct regular drills. So Employees who are there in the organization will be well aware that how to react and how to escape the building in case of any fire accident. So that is conduction of regular drills. So this will be in their habit that in case of any fire accident, how to leave the building and they can leave the building immediately and in that case organization can reduce the loss due to fire accident. Now third one here is maintenance of safety equipment must be taken care of regularly. So actually just to control fire or just to reduce the effect of fire safety equipments are used like fire extinguisher and in case of fire due to electric sand is also used and just to throw sand on the affected area equipments others are needed like bucket. So this is a responsibility of the manager or employer to check these fire equipments regularly so, and suppose if in the fire extinguisher carbon dioxide gas is not enough available so fire extinguisher should be filled with the carbon dioxide gas if bucket got damaged because of some reason so bucket should be replaced if sand is not there in the enough quantity so sand should be filled there so this is the responsibility of the organization to do maintenance of fire safety equipment because in case of any fire accident its effect can be reduced by using these fire safety equipments only so in this way, all organizations have to follow these basic fire safety rules and by following these basic fire safety rules, damage can be reduced up to a good level that generally happens because of any fire accident. So after this, next basic safety rules are related to false and slips. Now false and slips means what? That actually because of frictionless floor and uh, when some material gets fall on the floor, so it actually makes the floor completely frictionless and because of frictionless floor people actually may get fall as they get slip because of the frictionless floor so here this is also the responsibility of the organization so to consider this basic false and slip safety rules so there will be less damage due to false and slips and people will be or employees will be able to work in the organization properly so first one here is workplace must be proper ventilated. 
now workplace must be proper ventilated so there will be enough oxygen at the workplace and people will be able to breathe properly they will not feel suffocating and they will be also able to think properly so that's why workplace must be properly ventilated next one is floors must be clean and dry so suppose if some liquid got fall on the floor so that should be cleaned immediately as well as that should be dried also immediately so people or employees who are working there will not get scared because liquid that is on the floor is actually making the floor frictionless and because of this employees are easily getting scared and that may result in sometime severe injury also so that's why floors must be clean and dry whenever it gets wet third one is oil spills dust must be immediately clean so whenever oil is getting spilled on the floor so actually oil is making the floor very much frictionless and because of oil employees can easily may skid on the floor so that's why whenever oil is getting spilled on the floor it should be cleaned immediately so floor will be able to retain its friction and people will not get skid on the floor so that's why oil spills must be cleaned immediately after that smoke alarms must be placed at proper intervals so at proper durations or at proper distance smoke alarm must be placed in the organization building so in case of any smoke or fire accident employees will get the warning immediately and they will get the enough time to escape the building so that's why smoke alarm must be placed at regular interval or at regular distance next one is keep workplace a non smoking zone so whenever in the organization if chances of fire are there for example when we are considering industries where highly inflammable materials are available so those industries should be declared as non smoking zone because if in such industries smoking employees are doing so that may result in fire accident so that's why wherever in the industry highly inflammable material is there so those industries area should be declared as non smoking zone so in this way organizations can reduce the chance of any accident those generally are possible in the industries or organizations now next one is electrical safety rules now as we know that in all kind of industries or companies electrical equipments are used so related to those also organizations have to follow safety rules so first one is electrical equipment approved by a or recognized organization so in industries and companies electrical equipment those are there in the use i should have isi mark so such electrical equipments do not get damaged easily so whenever electrical equipments are used in the company or industry so those electrical equipments must have isi mark so those electrical equipments actually have good life as well as not easily getting damaged also so in this way also we can avoid any kind of accident that is possible in the industry or organization now next one is damaged or hazardous electrical equipment should be immediately replaced so whenever in the industry or our company any electrical equipment is getting damaged or in coming days it will get damaged so that should be replaced immediately because if it is not replaced so that may result in short circuit and because of short circuit fire chance is also there so whenever any electrical equipment is getting damaged or got damaged as well as will get damaged in future in next 4 or 5 days so that should be replaced immediately by new electrical equipment next one is heat emanating equipment should be kept away from the electrical equipments equipment those are generating heat are actually capable to damage electrical equipment so those equipments which are generating heat should be kept away or at some distance from the electrical equipment so their heat will not be able to damage electrical equipment so this is this point then and here last point is take care that the outlet circuit should not be overloaded generally we are overloading five pin sockets but should this should not happen because when we are overloading five pin sockets so this is actually damaging five pin sockets because of overheating so that's why we should not overload circuits because when we are overloading it may get damaged and this may result in the short circuit and short circuit may result in fire so electrical circuit should not be overloaded now next one is use of first aid actually whenever any kind of accident is happening so there immediately doctor cannot come so just to reduce the effect of injury first aid 
should be provided to that injured person and proper first aid is very important and if proper first aid is provided to the injured person so we can save the life of that person as well we can reduce or minimize the damage that happened because of accident so at the place where accident happened that time immediately doctor cannot provide the treatment their doctor is always is not possible so just to reduce effect or damage due to accident proper first aid should be provided to the injured person and in this way we can save life of that person now here in case of companies or organizations proper first aid kit must be there at each floor and in that first aid kit all necessary items must be there like scissor like bandage betadine detol so these kind of necessary items must be there in the first aid kit and this is also the responsibility of the organization to check regularly expiry date of these medical equipments or items because after the expiry date of the medical item or equipment it becomes poisonous and in that way it may adversely affect the injured person so this is a responsibility of the organization to provide first aid kit at each floor and after that all necessary medical equipments and items must be there in the first aid kit and expiry date should also be checked off all medical equipments and if any medical equipment got expired so that should be replaced immediately now some basic rules of first aid here are first one is assure the injured to remain calm and not to panic so actually whenever any person is getting injured because of any reason so that person should not panic that person should remain calm and then only we are able to provide proper first aid to that person second one is keep them warm if they are under shock if any person got shocks that person should be kept warm so there we can reduce the damage that happened because of the shock and the third one is do not move the victim in case of back or neck injury so if any kind of fracture is there or if any kind of back or neck injury is there so that person should not be moved freely that person should be kept fixed at one place so in this way pain due to injury can be reduced now last one here is a worker may face occupational hazard at workplace so actually workers are facing occupational hazard at workplace this means what that when we are talking about cement industries so they are actually workers are facing the problem of asthma type diseases because that cement products are entering with breath in their lungs and actually damaging their lungs so in this way workers are facing hazards as per their work or as per their occupation so here this session 9 is ending and next session 10 i will cover in the next video so this video i am going to end